Hello, hello. Welcome to Not Games Revisited. I am way too tired to do The Legend of Zelda uh, proper. They give it the, the attention it deserves and <laughs> the memory I need to, uh, to pull off some of what needs to happen. So, today instead, I'm going to go on to the Coffee Craft server. It's going to be a Minecraft and chill. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but... Uh, I'm gonna go do something. <laughs> I just I just wanted to get on a stream a little bit. I should probably work on collecting a little bit more iron. Although, uh, maybe I will in the next round. I mean, okay. I, I've got if it comes down to it, I got like two more there that I'm using as a placeholder. Uh, I got another one there that I'm using as a placeholder. So I, 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 I can I can I can scrape together a little bit more. Uh, Let's get that cooking, because I need a bucket. If you were watching Tuesday, you'll know that I lost my <laughs> I lost my water bucket when a slime knocked me off the uh, the edge of the ledge. I'm gonna keep that above me so that way the phantoms don't eat my face. And uh, yeah, I built that little slime farm over there, and. I, I'm actually, I'm actually considering um, building a mob farm over the slime farm. Uh, because the the number of slimes uh, stayed low enough, you know that, that seems to kill them fast enough that it wasn't a problem. But that, that that from an efficiency standpoint, that seems good. I, I think it might be one of those things that once I can get a better killing mechanism, then I might do that. Some way to force the slimes in there so that that way they don't bunch up um, and, and stuff like that. All right, let me uh, grab these guys. I will make one bucket. And I will deeply contemplate what what am I gonna do? I need to move this down there. I need to build storage down there. Uh, I need to get the tree <laughs> tree farm. Uh, I'm gonna put air quotes on that. I, I need to move uh, the place that I've been growing the trees down there. And I may I may work on that a little bit. Oh, good. I I am living off of melon slices. They they are not very satisfying in the long term, but it's what I got for now. I mean, I've got enough wheat that I could probably switch to bread, but that's not that much better. But yeah, so right now, I mean, I'm only growing four trees at a time. I, I don't plan on actually doing much more than that, but I need... I need a place to do this where I don't have to run around collecting stuff after it falls. So I was thinking about building a trough of water that pushes all the drops into a... Oh, that's right. I was going to look and see if I still had an extra hopper floating around. I do. Because I was going to use that with the chicken in the barrel to make a little chicken farm. <coughs> that's about to get repurposed. That's about to get repurposed. Uh, matter of fact... The other thing that I really need to do is I need to... <laughs> nah, that's not terrifying. Um, I need to find... I, I need to build a proper garden, for one. Um, yeah, th this has been nice for, for barely holding on, but I'm not... You know what? Let's see what challenges I can work with today. Because I got nearly a stack of pumpkins again. I got plenty of melon slices. I might even... I'm tempted to craft those up into actual melons, but until I get a fortune tool. Alright. So, I got a few options. I can do wheat farmer. Uh, matter of fact, I can definitely do that right now, because it requires a stack of wheat. I got a couple of stacks. 
and the reward is eight dirt which is nice uh, especially since I need to get some grass from up there to down there although again that assumes that I I need to get some planning done because I keep looking at all that space down there I want to build most of my farms down that way and uh, what what I might do I might do the mob farms, the tree farm, uh, the ugly farms down that way, and then start working my way up. Um, and as soon as I find out where the next layer is going to go, that's where I'll put the flower farm. That way I don't have to move the, the grass as far. Although I am tempted to see just how far I can uh, make that happen. And get a uh, grass block down down at the very bottom. That would be useful for a passive mob farm, which I'm actually I'm a little tempted to just not bother with. Uh, I mean, we we've got stuff like uh, where, where is it? There, there, there's a oh, that's the iron farm, another portal. Oh, that reminds me. I, I've got, I've got the obsidian to make another portal, but I don't have the flint and steel. I've got the steel, I just need some flint. Uh, is, what, what, mm. Alright, homeowner gets you four redstone ore, five ink stacks, four iron ore, and some seeds. Monster Hunter is the one that gets you what you need for the flint and steel. So I've really got to, I, I got to prioritize that uh, mob farm and start collecting, uh, start collecting, because that's what's going to get me access to the Nether. Um, that's going to get me some dirt, and I need to complete that anyway to get the uh, expert farmer challenge. Cocoa and a mule. Didn't I do that one already? Big wolf. No, maybe not. Although, no, it should actually tell me, right? <coughs> Potato cares. Which one was I just looking at? Uh, yeah, okay. I have not completed sawmill. I need eight stripped logs of each type. I mean, the cocoa would be nice. The mule would be nice. But what would be more useful is the redstone ore and the iron ore, especially since I just had to burn three more for a bucket. So that's eight stripped uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No. Oh. Oak, dark oak, spruce, birch, jungle, and acacia. No, that is all of them. Okay. Yeah, so eight stripped logs of each, huh? I think I, get, I, think I got enough to do that, actually. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right. There we go. We got eight of those. Need of those. I need to grow some more acacia. I, they are useful. I do like the colors for certain palettes, but man, is that a pain to get in mass? Uh, and I'm, I need to get more jungle too. But my problem is when I grow the single jungle trees, I, I'm not getting the return on saplings I need to make this sustainable enough. So, uh, yeah, that'll just have to wait. All right, there's eight of those guys, and eight of those guys. Yeah, all right. I just need to strip them all. With my stone axe.
that down the way a little bit. Arcadius is playing uh, Phasmophoria. And it's kind of killing me a little bit, <laughs> cracking me up a little bit with uh, the way that game is played. No, no, you're not too loud. It, it just cracks me up every time you play. J j just like it still hasn't gotten old every time you go, are you there? And I can't resist the urge to go, yes. Oh, it's funny for one of us. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get... I need to... I could have sworn I remembered uh, making something that automated that a little bit better. Well, honestly, I, I don't know why I'd bother automating... Uh, stripping the logs. That's not something you generally automate. Well, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, since it's just, you know, nobody here today. Um, I, I just love automating everything for the sake of automating. I like, I'm an engineer. I like building things. Okay. Last bit. Let me get, actually... <laughs> Let me go put my uh, very precious iron bucket away. That is one of the other things, too. Uh, I I could start working on prettifying up there a little bit more, too. Um, because I'm not getting any wandering traders. I'm not getting any wandering traders because I don't have anywhere for them to spawn in. All right, let's do... Ta-da! Sawmill. There we go. Some iron ore, some redstone ore, some cocoa and a mule. Uh, yeah, I, I love how you can keep doing a lot of these, and all it, all it's going to give you is a redstone and an iron. Um, all right, that's not going to happen until I get all the farming stuff. Uh, if I can get the bone meal, I can get the shroom picker. And I'm planning on getting that out of the mob dropper, which I need to get the flint. And actually, if I get if I get the mob dropper going good enough, I can probably get enough string from the spiders to do <laughs> the wool challenges. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get Maestro, but I don't know if any any of these other challenges require. Yeah, okay. Beacon eater, beacon eater, <laughs> beacon eater, or something different uh, requires Maestro. So I I guess I will have to do that. Um. Yeah, because the end portal challenge. The end portal challenge requires Beaconator. Beaconator. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. Okay. Well, let's put my... Uh, Freshly earned rewards away. I'll put the cocoa beans in with the jungle wood. And I'm not using any of the spawn eggs just yet. Eventually I will, but uh, there's a part of me that wants to go add one of the uh, marketplace type plugins and set it up so that way. Uh, so that way you can buy uh, spawner gauges. I don't know what you do with a mule spawner, but it could be a thing. Okay. Alright. Let's go harvest some lumber while it is technically daylight. See, and this is one of the things that I gotta look up too, because I want to make sure that the the trough that I build for the tree farm, because I'd like to set up a row of platforms like this, where there's just enough space between them that they don't bump into each other, and you lose out on the opportunity to uh, 
get as many leaves as possible just because I like to get enough return on saplings. Uh, <clears throat> but I need to make sure there's enough space so that way stuff like the acacia tree where wherever you go in the center it, you got what one two three four off to the side maybe five so I, I gotta get I gotta spend a little quality time with the wiki and uh, find out just what just what the uh, the actual radius is for having a, a uh, an area set aside for for your uh, capturing that kind of stuff also I need to move this and set it up right because I keep running into problems like this where uh, where stuff keeps catching in little weird spots in the eddies and the water doesn't quite push it all the way over to the hopper and that kind of stuff I, I wonder how much cactus I've actually missed out on also also fence posts not ideal iron rods <clears throat> Sorry. Iron rods and glass panes are better suited for this than fence posts. Because if you'll notice, these are four pixels by four pixels. And the glass panes and iron rods are two by two. What that does is that gives the piece that breaks off a little bit further to fall without being in such a position that it lands back on top of the cactus. Potentially, uh, potentially, uh, destroying instead of harvesting. Well, I was going to do that harvest and then I realized it was, uh, 18, 1800 in game already. Okay. So maybe I'll come back to that a little bit later. I need... I need a lot of blocks. I'm not turning in the apple collector, matter of fact. I may take that sign off just for now. Um, because all the apple collector does is it gets me more saplings, which will be useful. Um... It actually means that technically I could probably be a little less efficient so long as uh, I keep working the Apple Collector challenge. Because I can always get a replacement sapling that way if, uh, if I end up losing out. Although apples have been dropping so infrequently for me. But, um... So I need to make sure that the the width of as I jump from thing to thing to thing. I also need to make sure that wherever I build this, it's not in a slime chunk because every one of these farms, every type of tree farm, with the exception of the seriously automated ones that requires more hoppers than we're allowed to have. Uh, I should probably put a fence gate up until, uh... <laughs> oh wait, I can't because the choke point's over on Rhea's side of the line. Because I, I just realized that, um... Uh, she's still got monster spawning problems and they can now walk over here and give me a bad day. I wonder if I could use that to get a uh, zombie villager. Head over there, get one to spawn, and just keep walking them over here. Hi guys. All right. Oh, I also I found out incidentally that this isn't quite as awesome as I thought it was. The reason why I could see them still spawning up there was because Rayest was close enough to keep this farm going during the live stream. So I thought it was doing better than it did. Uh, what I need to do is I need to figure out the ideal AFK spot for this thing and uh, set it up. It needs to be far enough away that the entirety of the spawning surface is 22, 24, 24 blocks away. Wait, let me double check that. Uh, where's 
my notes, 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 notes. I don't know how many times I've looked this up. Yeah. Uh, 24 blocks away. So I need to make sure that, that the close, the closest any part of the spawning surface can be is 24 blocks away. That's part of what made finding these chunks so special. I had to make sure that I got far enough away. I build a platform and then I'd have to get far enough away that something could spawn on it. Cause as long as, as long as that's within 24 blocks, nothing spawning on there regardless. Although, yeah, look, that's just a few minutes getting down here. Uh, I'm still not at the optimal distance. We already got, what, a stack? Close to? Close enough to? Okay, I guess I'm happy with that for the moment. Uh, eventually, eventually what I'll do... <laughs> Hi, friend. Eventually what I'll do is across the top where the big guys tend to congregate... I might put a blade of lava because the light doesn't change whether or not they spawn, but the big guys actually prevent each other from getting in here. Um, four logs is not going to help me get up there. Um, let's see what I got in the box down here. Cause I'm curious if I got far enough away, if uh, they would do well enough to show. Still working on getting some more supplies. Uh, Cause I keep waffling on which which farm design I'm going to use. Here, let's go where I can use the stairs to stand up off of this half slab. All right, let's pillar on up here. A little bar. Yeah. So the little guys, uh, two of the medium guys can can get through side by each. Uh, the little guys obviously can. They're not a problem. But it, look at those guys. This could be going faster if I could find a way to get these guys just a little bit smaller. <laughs> uh. And I'm just far enough, apparently, that some of them are despawning before uh, before they even get to the killing chamber. But yeah, look at those guys, see? So there could be more in there dying right now, but they're pushing each other out of the way. So if I put a blade of lava over by where these guys are getting stuck, that would start cutting the big guys down quicker. Uh, the other thing that would help is everywhere the water is. If I replaced those slabs with magma blocks, um, the magma would start whittling them down before they got to the final killing chamber. Uh, matter of fact, if I put a little bit of ice near the edge there, uh, I could probably even... I could probably even do this so that uh, the entire water pathway was magma and sent the water to run the bits in case the little guys spawn and die before they ever get to the killing chamber. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind making that a full and proper 3x3 three three grid too. That's part of why I was thinking about building the mob farm over here. Although... Uh, one of these numbers is the number of mobs with respect to the cap. And for the life of me, I can never remember which one it is. Uh, I think it's the M? It's like M21? 21 monsters? Yeah, I, I kind of wish there was an easy way to keep tabs on that too. I, I may have to look and see if there's a way to do that with a sidebar. But anyway, so I, 
I keep thinking about building the mob farm on top of that. Like, go 40 blocks up. So that way, I don't have to worry about slime spawning in the mob farm. And then I could set three AFK spots, maybe? One where I'm up high enough to spawn stuff in the mob spawner, but not the slime spawner. One where I'm at the right height to work both of them. And then one where I'm down low enough to just spawn slime. Uh, although, I would also need to, I still need to work in a switch. So that way I can turn that off, because that is eating up the mob cap. Right now, it's just me on. So, that's not that big a deal. But... If Rayest is on working on her island, uh, <clears throat> these guys are eating into the server mob cap. And that means that means that uh, she's not going to get full efficiency out of her mob spawner if she's trying to use it at the same time. Uh, Medic's far enough away that he doesn't have to worry about that unless... Uh, he's on when Rayest is on, and Rayest is loading this farm, and there's no off switch. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to end up having to do is wire in some dispensers, like maybe there and there on each platform, and then just have a switch on the outside, so that uh, I can flick the switch to toggle those guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to figure out how how best to work that. Yeah, look at that. This could be doing so much better than it already is if I could kill those guys faster. Uh, <clears throat> or I could switch this over to a design that to the design that Nembom used. This is kind of a slightly modified version of that. Um, in Nembom's design, the waterways push all the mobs into the four corners, and there's a hopper and a chest just outside of each corner. Uh, because it's jammed up in the back corner of my mob farm, uh, I wouldn't be able to use that corner there because I've got nowhere to put it. So I could push that way and that way and have a killing spot there, a killing spot there, and a killing spot there uh, by spreading it out. I may do that anyway. By spreading it out to three spots, you kill, well, three times as fast. Um, you know, that's not a bad idea. I may have to do that. But first, I'll need to uh, disable spawning on there. Because that, that is now a very, very dangerous place to go to go messing with things. All right. Well, that's something to think about for a future, for a future stream, upgrading that. And if I did it right, having the mob farm, or the regular mob spawner on top of that, I could drop... If I lined everything up right, my idea was to line them up such that they drop into the water stream and get pushed into the killing chamber. Uh, I guess my problem is the zombies and things could end up in that corner where there's no killing spot. Uh, but on the other hand, instead of using four hoppers for this and four hoppers for the... Um, anyway, yeah, you got it. By combining both of the farms, I'd be using less hoppers and I can make more efficient use of the space, is the general thought. I don't, I don't know how well that would actually play out in practice, though. 
Because that really feels like one of those false economies. Because I've got a 3x3 three three chamber in there. And only the back four. Although. <laughs> Great googly moogly. Look at that. Look at that. That, that's just, that's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing indeed. Uh, what does the slime hunter get me again? Redstone and an emerald. All right. I'm actually going to actually want to keep the, uh, the slime balls for this one because I'm going to need a lot of slime blocks. I'm going to need a lot of slime blocks for sticky pistons. Uh, I need to get a sugar cane farm going because uh, I haven't done this one yet. <laughs> I, I ended up accidentally killing the sugar cane farm when I, when I removed the water column that was going down the middle and I just never set it back up. But I would like to get it set up so that way it is a proper sugarcane farm. Um, what is my island level right now? 214. Okay. So I'm not quite at Master Builder. But if I get uh, if I get another farm going, I might be able to get that. Because Master Builder... Master Builder gets me better ore spawning rates in the cobble generator. And what was I just looking at that required master builder? Oh, I, I don't... Mm, yeah. Th this is why I'm streaming Minecraft instead of... <laughs> instead of... Uh, instead of the normal games revisited. Because... Uh, focus. Attention. All right. Mob farm, cactus farm, so that way I can get sand. I mean, now that I think about it, instead of the normal automated, instead of the normal automated pumpkin melon farm, since all you get out of that is dirt, I may do a semi-automatic farm, although, I do plan on eventually getting villagers. Villagers change a lot of that. Because uh, you, you get a couple of the farmer villagers. And trading melons and pumpkins with them does wonderful things. And seriously, I can't get apples for nothing. But now that I don't, now that I go, eh, I don't care. There's two of them. That's the way it goes, right? Alright, let's get some more of this acacia down while I contemplate. Why I'm rambling on a Friday. At least I got a little whiskey flavored coffee. Or is it coffee flavored whiskey? You'll never know. Oh, seriously? Ah, no saplings. Yeah, the birch trees keep doing that to me, too. That is super annoying. Because I, I do, I like using the birch. I like building in the birch. Um, the problem is the yield on birch is a little slim. And the saplings aren't quite as plentiful. It has a lot to do with how many leaves and the percentage chance of a sapling dropping from the leaves. Um, the drop rate isn't good and birch don't have nearly as many leaves to worry about dropping in the first place. 
Whereas Spruce, even a tall guy like this, I, I will get back my four saplings and then some. That's what? Three, three blocks out? Three blocks out? Alright, so so far if I have the collection area about five blocks out, that'll catch the acacia if they go off to one side or the other. I guess the other thing is uh, the branch on a 2x2 two two jungle tree. How far does that stick out? Because you can't pick the direction. And I don't want to build the farm in such a way that it hangs out over the edge. And I gotta worry about picking up the stuff that dropped that far out. I just want to be able to chop down, chop stuff down as quickly and efficiently as possible, and then let the collection system pick up the rest. Um, most, um, yeah, most of the other designs I have uh, I've seen are automated in the sense that. It, it's pistons pushing tree tree blocks into a TNT chamber, um, which is always an option. Uh, I'm not building one like I did last season. That was way too resource intensive, and you have no idea how many hoppers went into that thing. That that's not going to happen. Uh, not, not with these limits. I, I probably used more than 50 hoppers just in the actual farm itself, not even counting the blast chamber and any of that. So, I think the tree farm is going to be unfortunately not nearly as automatic as I want. I just need a place to catch stuff. And on all the platforms, I will definitely do this 2x2 two two spruce, spruce because that will convert all the dirt into podzol, which will give me platforms to build, to, to grow mushrooms on once I get enough bone meal. And that'll let me get those challenges squared away. Is this it? This is it. Uh-oh. Oh, quick, before the phantoms come. Not paying attention to the time. I am tempted to build a tree farm out of wood too. Because I'm, I'm collecting logs a lot faster than, than I'm collecting stone. Oh. I mean, I hate that, but that is what it is. Actually, I hate to jinx it. The phantoms haven't been out. Is it because I died the last time? I don't remember the... You know, the... Oh! I just got done saying that... Stupid spruce trees always give you your sapling investment back. And, uh... I only got two saplings out of that. RNG giveth, RNG taketh away. I mean, unless, unless they fell down there, they're far enough away that I wouldn't be able to see them. I mean, look, the uh, the storage chest down there isn't rendering in. Where? I'm curious. Where does that end up? So I'm never entirely sure where to look to see if anything that, that dropped down here, where that might be. Oh, cloud. Okay. Okay. So yeah, th this is about, this is about where that overhang is. So I should easily be able to see anything that falls off of there. All right. Um... Let us return home, shall we? I guess I can harvest all the wheat while I'm here. Getting a proper wheat farm would be nice too. Getting seven wheat in a go is not uh is not the way to vast stores of bread. And I've been using I, I've already got a stack of uh 
a stack of wheat seeds down there. I don't. I have no need of more than that. Uh, oak and acacia. Spruce. I mean, I'm not exactly hurting for spruce saplings, so I guess on, in, on the balance, it is uh, it isn't that bad. Melons and pumpkins. Slimes. Apples. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I probably could have used... Alright, anyway. Actually. I've got those bone blocks from all the skeletons that spawned while I was making... Uh, the, uh, the slime farm. That gets me eight mycelium and four podzol. No, I don't really need that. Except I think I need shroom pickers for, uh... Yeah, I need shroom picker for the challenge. I don't necessarily need it for this. Although, having a nice little mycelium area to grow, uh... Oh, I bet I could get a mushroom that way. I wonder if I could. That's a good question. Alright. Yeah, instead of growing the spruce. Let me get... Where's my mushrooms? Let me get... Yeah, and I'll put the uh I'll put the mushrooms in there for now. Hello beach duck. How are you doing today? I'm just rambling. A little more rambly than usual. It is a Friday. Um, hmm. Where, you know what? Let me get a temporary... Temporary little pad going and grow some mushrooms. Because I was thinking about using that platform up there, but I don't have any way to sleep. There we go. That gets me the ponzel I need. I can go one, two, three. Four. That is excessive amounts of light. Grab one slabby jabby for climbing up. Oh. Well, let me go make another axe. I forget what I'd... no I've had those days where somebody's going is it a Thursday scotch clock or Friday scotch clock I don't know why they were asking because it sounds like it's scotch clock either way although I guess it depend determines how much uh 
How much you add? Alright. I mean, I could have used the lumber anyway. I can work on this for the uh, storage down here too. Just grow spruce, cut it down. Make as many chests out of it as I can. Because that is something that I still need to get done. I, I need to move what little storage I have and make room for more. How big do I want to make my storage anyway? I want to at least have a, a halfway decent design on the storage too. So what do I do for that? Because I wouldn't mind putting an actual room down here, but I'm not going to lay a proper floor until I can get it proper lit. Um, I've got... I mean, I guess I can always use the jack-o'-lanterns that I had made for the platforms to light up a proper proper storage room down here. That is something that could happen. Ah, seriously, only three saplings back. That's not enough for a proper spruce. That's been my luck today. All right. Now I have to think about that. Let me get a couple of these guys going. Partly because of the challenge. Partly because I'm wondering if uh, if uh, having some mushroom stew would help things too. Because at least mushroom stew is a little bit more nourishing. In game, not not IRL. All uh, it must be dropping more. Am I using the wrong tool? I thought it was an X. Where's everything sitting on the ground now? And I gotta remember to uh, pick it up real quick. That's it? Eat mushrooms? Although, I am wondering if that isn't because I Usually by the time I start doing this, I've got a fortune, a fortune X, and that yields a lot more. Oh, well, let's go through what I got for bone meal, and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, this is definitely something where having a fortune implement would uh, would help. I can't believe that that's all I'm going to get. Did I lose you, Beach Duck? I feel like I lost you. Oh, oh okay. I gotta get me some better tools soon, too. Uh, okay. That was better. Everything else floating around? It is nice. It, the nice thing about turning on hitboxes is 
it's a diagnostic tool, but it's also kind of useful for spotting stuff like this. So, you know, it's, it's a little hard to see that one lone mushroom on the ground, but when you turn on the hitboxes, you see the box around it that represents its collision box where uh, something will interact with it. And that blue line is the direction it's uh, facing. Yeah, my, uh, my, I am drinking some fortified coffee. Oh. Because I am so tired. I am so tired it actually hurts. I mean, if we're being honest, I probably shouldn't have streamed, but I had to. I was going to do something to unwind, and uh, I am trying to keep a consistent schedule. So, canceling is a, is a little antithetical to keeping a reliable schedule. How many mushrooms did I need for that challenge, anyway? I need to make a uh, wooden bowl for the mushroom stew, too. And I'm going to need to keep a few of each of them handy. Let me, go, let me go check on that challenge real quick. How many did I need? A stack of each. Okay. I need a stack of each of those. Yikes. All right. I don't think I have the bone meal for this. I mean, I guess I could be working on the mob farm too, but uh, this is supposed to be a relaxing day. this with the bone meal I have. Ah, and then it does something like that. Ooh, I need to go make some more axes. Spruce tree to get more lumber for it, too. <laughs> All right. I keep waiting for a caterpillar to show up on one of these things and ask me, Who are you? How many times is that? How many times has that been adapted into a movie? How many Alice in Wonderland movies have there been? I mean, the one that, the one that sticks out most in my mind is the Disney animated one, but that's because there's nothing, there's nothing Disney won't steal, borrow, adapt. Depends on who you ask. Actually, no, Disney's done a couple of different adaptations because they did it. Because um, I'm pretty sure they did one of the other ones I remember. That I also remember as being not that good, but uh, that's, that's neither here nor there. Johnny Depp movies. That's 
that's not that that's more in the Alice in Wonderland universe. Eventually, it might be nice to uh, to get Silk Touch and build with some of those mushroom blocks. Although now, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know that the uh, I don't know that the the mechanism that that you Skyblock revised uses to tally up the island. I don't know if it actually uh, would recognize and count the mushroom blocks. Wow, went through three axes already. Might just start using wooden axes. I mean, these things do break easy enough. No, but in all seriousness, I, I wouldn't mind using some of the some of the blocks to uh, to build with. I guess it doesn't really matter if uh, if it cal well no it doesn't matter if it calculates it into the island level because that's how that's how I end up unlocking some of the challenges is you got to have master builder and the only way to get that is to level up your island the only way to do that is to add more blocks to your island. Which is why I'm sitting here collecting, collecting mushroom. Want to make sure I save at least, keep at least one. So I got something to grow more mushrooms with later. Okay, I got my stack of the brown mushrooms and a little extra. Let's try to get a stack of the red ones. Is this going to be enough? You think? What are the odds that this is going to get me the, the last bit I need to make a full stack of 64? Well, okay, never mind. That, that makes it a little more uh, a little more likely. I'm already at 60. I just need like four more. for this little ass little bit. That's it. And that gets me that gets me a fair amount of red ones too. Huh. Let's put those in there for the moment. Let's put those in there for the moment. Let's keep that right there for the moment. Let's turn in our mushroom picker challenge. Where to go? There it went. I don't. I don't know that I'm actually going to use the mycelium and ponzel. Um. Well, the 
pods will all use. I don't know if I'm going to use the mycelium. I mean, I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to make mycelium walkways now that I think about it. If I can get enough dirt, what gives me enough dirt to make that worthwhile? Um, yeah, the sugarcane farmer gets me eight dirt every time I turn it in. No, that's eight dirt for the first one because I haven't finished it yet. Yeah, let's, you know, let's, uh, let's figure that out, shall we? Let's tear this down real quick. I know, I know, I got those two chests in there, and I should really sort them out, but, uh, That'll have to happen later. Right, we have four of those and six of those. Give me two fresh axes. What do I need for the grindstone? I should probably have a couple of those handy too. Grindstone is a stone slab, two sticks and two planks. Um, let's grab one of those and one of those. And we get some stone slabs. Sticks and planks. Let's go ahead and make a second one. And we'll keep those sticks there. We'll get one of those guys down there. Then back up. Back up here. Not here, here, but uh, in the level just below here. We'll, uh, we'll add a grindstone somewhere around here. Sure, why not? There we go. Now I can use that for repair, which will get me better results than just trying to repair it in my inventory or uh, anything like that. I've got to get a sugarcane farm going. Uh, for that, I can use either the dirt or the sand. All right, let me get a. All right, what's gonna get me the? What's gonna get me dirt faster? Uh oh, 136 melon slices, and that's only gonna get me four dirt. I'll think on that a little bit. Um, Cause what I'm gonna need is let me get let's get some some of that there. Some of that there. And all right, did I remember right? I know I got the amount of some of those wrong, so we'll grab that right there. Uh, what do I got to put away? I got to put away the extra cobble because I didn't bother counting that. I'll grab a slime ball there make that a sticky piston. Do I have enough iron? Three, four, five. 
I know that's a little wasteful, but we'll go with that. Um, oh, oh no, that's not going to work. Because even if I wanted to do a hopper minecart, I need enough iron for the hopper itself too. some glass panes because I really need to get my cactus farm going uh, all right I'll sacrifice eight sand now for a better farm later we'll see how far that goes first uh, Let's put the iron back. How do I want to do this? Because I want to build. I want to build a. I want to build a. Um, a sugarcane farm that is tileable. I actually thought about making the sugarcane farm at the perimeter of that and just have the sugarcane pushed into the same the same collection system. But we come back to the original problem of that's not a true 3x3 three three grid of hoppers. So I do have a hopper for a hopper minecart. Hmm. Oh, that's just mean. Alright, fine. Uh, let's grab, you know what, let's just grab a couple of blocks of redstone. Let's grab... Need a button. And I think for this I'm going to need a stone button. Maybe. Oh, I misjudged that anyway. Because those last two bits of glass are not going to get me any more glass panes because it's a three by two grid. I'll put it to you somewhere along the way. Alright, so I'm going to need a button, sticky piston, redstone. Um, I don't need I don't think I need torches. I don't even know where I'm going to put it, though. Because here's the thing. Wherever I build this... Wherever I build this, I cannot build it in a slime chunk. Full stop. The squares that are used for growing the sugar cane will uh, the squares that are used for growing the sugar cane will spawn slimes no matter what I do so I, I definitely don't want it anywhere where there's a slime junk and I'm, I'm trying to try not to be too haphazard with these things I think what I might do is I might put the cactus farm 
here because I know the cactus farm is something that I can build in a slime chunk and not have to worry about these guys wrecking my day. Uh, maybe I'll do that first. Tear this down. Yeah, I know. I just grabbed all that stuff for a farm. I'm not even going to bother building. Not yet. Not yet. Ooh. We'll pick up these guys right now, though. I kind of wish I had uh, the nether quartz for the observers. I had somewhere an older design. Yeah, I'll put those in there for now. An older design for a melon pumpkin farm that did not use observers for triggering. Well, you know, since it's just me, let's go ahead and let's disconnect from here. And let's go into my older single player testing world. I still use them both because this is where I have Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> these are the guys that, that we that we set up for the headhunters. Uh, I get these guys set up in my test world. I use the uh, structure block to save them as a structure and uh, and then load them up into uh, onto the server. I also use it to test the wandering traders. Sorry, I, I did not want him talking, but somewhere I had, I was trying to figure out some, I was trying to figure out my own design. <laughs> hey, medic. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let me, uh, I didn't bother with discord because you guys were, uh, yeah, I didn't bother with discord because you guys were doing your phasma. Oh, yeah. And well, I, I, is... I really didn't expect you guys to, I, I figured you guys would keep playing that. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's, well, games are visited night, but uh, this doesn't look like games are visited, so. Yeah. I thought we'd crack, and uh, while we can't beat up the ghosts in that game, their cousins over here are not so well protected. I keep forgetting that was a that was a farm design I was trying to work on with a with a combination uh, bamboo and kelp. <laughs> the idea was to to try to figure out a way to get enough bamboo and kelp to to continuously smelt, run them all into one of these guys and, and, and set it up. My biggest problem was I could never get it to work out that enough bamboo would be available to actually cook the kelp. It, it was burning through bamboo faster than it was replenishing. But that isn't why I'm here. Um, what was I... Nope, not that guy. And I can actually make that a lot more compact now that I know what I'm doing a little bit more too. Um, I think it was this guy. Yeah, I think it was this guy. I want to say that I had a block of water somewhere, and then the stem went here. Yeah, your melon or pumpkin stem goes here. And when it grows, um, it... <sighs> update... Bud powers the uh, dropper, which sends the item over into the hopper, which pulls a signal from here and turns off that torch and powers this. So by powering that redstone dust, it pushes the block off into 
and to push the the melon or pumpkin into the hopper um, and by turning that torch off it cuts the signal that is locking that hopper allowing the item back into the dropper and rinse repeat although I can't remember why that had two hoppers. I'm tempted to set up two of these guys now. And, uh, yeah, I remember these aren't very performant just because the, the nature of melons and pumpkins are, they're not just don't grow that fast they don't grow that fast at all but everything here everything here is stuff that I have now I don't like that it would use two hoppers per slice that'd be four hoppers total for the melon pumpkin farm mm -mm. no Although that would only be temporary until I until I had everything I needed to build a bigger bigger setup. Oh no, because I'd need nether quartz for the uh, comparator, and I don't have access to the nether. Okay, so that's not going to work. Uh, ideas come to me. <laughs> I could build this guy too. It. It's an egg farm, and then once the uh, once the once the eggs pile up enough, it starts sending them over to uh, to the cooker side to make cooked chicken. I think I deeply, deeply overcomplicated this, though. It can probably be made a lot, a lot more compact. Do you overcomplicate something? What? Uh. Uh, not, not in the way that you mean. Not in the way that you mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. One simple question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you leveled your character? No. Uh oh. No, I meant to do that last weekend and didn't. Well, I haven't either, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's that have to do with me? Hmm? If oh, you yeah. if you choose not to be leveled, that uh, you know. Well, hey, I mean, I'm I'm just following the uh, the crowd now. That's all. Uh huh. Why is medic not leveled either? No, he actually he, he did it earlier. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I had, I had to work earlier. You you always have that overachiever in the class, you know. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I thought I had another. I thought I had another uh, melon pumpkin farm design than just those two. Mm -hmm. Unless I tore it down. No, oh. <laughs> I also forgot about that. I uh, was trying out a sugarcane farm, and I really shouldn't have used sand because my test world is a desert. <laughs> The, the rabbits keep spawning on the sand and clogging up the farm. But I thought I had... I thought I had a different... Or was this another one? No, because that's the sugarcane, etc., etc. Or that's the older style sugarcane, etc., etc. No, I guess that was it. Hmm. to think about that I wonder if I could actually do that one better now anyway because here's all right so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a chest I'm gonna need a hopper I am almost certainly going to need a little bit of redstone I can get repeaters and torches easily enough actually need the sticky piston so I can go grab my brain somewhere All right, 
Let's get a... No, let's do a pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. Gonna need a water bucket. And the rest I can work on as we go. So let's, you know, we got that one here. No. Oh. And uh, I'm also going to need at least one dirt. No, at least two dirt. One for the stem, one for the pumpkin to actually grow on. So we got our stem, we got our growth. Fester brick. <laughs> Stone brick. We'll put that right there for now. We'll put that right there for now. I can till that. Water log that. Get that seed right there. And now the questions come. So I'm going to want the piston to go that way. So that way it pushes it out here. focus a little bit more on building it than making it nice, neat, and compact. Uh, actually, what I could do is I could put the chest on this side, put that on that side, which gives me a little bit more room to work here. Uh, the main idea being... Does it have to go that way? Yeah, it would. Say I did that. And went like that. Then I wouldn't need to push it this way. Could push it that way. And that means I could do something goofy like that. Just a smidge of delay, because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna grow that immediately. Uh, let's get this guy. Yeah. Glowstone. 
So I can put a glowstone there. I would have to worry about something breaking off and going that way, or breaking off and going that way, though. Jeva loud? I don't hear Jeva. Or is that earlier, and I missed it? farm I have ever constructed. That is close to the ugliest farm I have ever constructed. Yeah. That gets me at least a few more blocks up that way. Um, do I even... So let's just say for a second, if I had that there, that's not powering that. What would I need to power that block in less space? Because a redstone block... My poor failing memory is right putting a redstone block next to a solid block, that's not going to power that's not going to power it I need I'm not going to get away from that because I can't com the idea is to complete the circuit so that way the only way, oh, the only place the melon ha the pumpkin has to grow is that patch of dirt My concern is that when it breaks, it has the potential to end up here, which means it ends up despawning, or here, which means it ends up despawning. Alright, so if I can get a... Uh I get that tighter though by keeping it in a cage like that that at least means that if it goes up it'll get down since it's farmland it's not a full block and a hopper can pick it up uh, if it goes that way it'll get picked up I would I would need to actually type stare correctly need to put something there and there to limit the limit the number of places that it could fall because it could also head diagonally that way the light will make sure that it's got something to grow um, yeah I mean I guess Technically, I, I am, I guess, yeah, I guess technically, if I really wanted to get to it, I could also go wrong. That's why that didn't look right. A torch. A block. Compare her, compare her. And then work out the funky geometry that makes that work. it up this way that gives 
that gives the milliner pumpkin Helps if you actually search for the right term. So this means if a pumpkin grows there, it'll break. And since I got that on a delay, it should actually push it into there. Same with that side. Yeah, I guess that is forcing it to go that way. Okay. So I could do something like this. I got I got the right I got enough of the right blocks. I got everything I need and that, that's only taking advantage that's gonna be so slow. That's gonna be so slow. But it's one hopper each. At least, at, at least until I get an iron farm. Then with an iron farm, I can build a proper melon pumpkin get up. Um, matter of fact, I can do the same thing with a sugar cane. Um, except I'd need a hopper minecart because I don't think you can grow... Sugar cane on farmland. Yeah, no, you can't put sugar cane on farmland. So that would have to be sugar cane. Or th that would have to be... I'd have to set that up different. Although I could always use a hopper minecart. But that takes iron. Until I get the bigger ones built. And I, I'm really trying I'm really, really trying not to build something like this as a temporary solution. But I'm missing out on a lot of crops that could be generating. Uh, and this would work for melons and pumpkins. Uh, just just to show. Everything's going to end up there. Although, this is the one. Yeah. That's the one that we got to make sure that we got something on top. Because it breaks off in some really weird places. But here's the deal. If I have something like that going... If I have something like that going, that means that whenever Arcadius and Medic are on, that's running in the background. And I can at least get blocks while, <laughs> while they're floating around. <laughs> oh my. I guess I gotta double check and see if... Uh, the stems need a block above them or not. I think they do. Here, let me uh, save and quit. Let me get back on the server. Because I might actually be short a couple of critical resources. Because I made a sticky piston for that guy and I need two pistons. So that's going to be two iron. Alright, maybe I'll just make one of these at a time until I get more, <laughs> more iron. Because I'm going to need five for the hopper. Because I, I don't... I don't have any other hoppers floating around yet. All right, let me grab a uh, couple of logs. So I'm going to need that to make the chest, to make the hopper. I'm going to need 
more cobble. Yeah, I'm probably going to need more than a few planks, so I'll just hang on to that. More cobble, three planks, an iron, and yeah, an iron and a redstone. In order to make the two, no, four. Four repeaters. I'm going to need eight of those guys. I'm going to need a fair amount of dust. Uh, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And... Is it stone? I think it was stone. Yes. That gets me my four repeaters. I got enough dust. I got a piston. I still need a second piston. So I'm going to need another one of those. Another one of those. I'm going to need four more cobble. And more planks. That's going to be two pistons, some redstone dust. I'm going to need... More lumber. More lumber. Because I'm going to go ahead and grab... A note block. No, I'm not building a note block. Um, gonna make a double chest. I need a pumpkin seed. Do I want to do the pumpkin first? No, I don't want to do the pumpkin first. I want to do the melon first because I'm living off of melons. And, and I mean, I, I got I got a decent backlog, but one bad day, uh, you know, you, you saw how many melon slices I went through on the slime farm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Although, if I got the pumpkin farm going and an egg farm and some sugar cane, then I could live off of pumpkin pie. But I don't think pumpkin pie is any more nutritious than uh, the melon slices are. I need some building blocks too. You know. This is melon. I don't have anything that's green. Alright. Never mind. I was tempted to build it out of acacia, but I might do that for the uh I might do that for the melon. The melon farm. No, the the uh pumpkin farm. Yeah. Words. This is why I'm not doing Zelda today. I mean, if this was a season one server, I could always, uh, I could always build the farm out of, uh, out, out of emeralds. That's a green block. All right. I just need a really quick temporary farm. I hate doing this. I, I hate doing these small temporary farms. I was trying so hard to avoid doing this, but... Oh well, that's life. I'll drop it in right over here. That way if anybody's close enough to keep this thing going, it'll also be close enough to keep this thing going. Oh, I need... I need stair. And I need my water bucket. <laughs> yeah. My memory. Here's my bucket. Now it's my water bucket. And I need a stair. I could use a wooden stair, but uh, uh, there's no way to efficiently make the wooden stairs. Or there's no way to make wooden stairs as efficiently as you make the... Uh, the stone stairs. I, I really wish the stone cutter would do the same recipes for wood. I mean, look, it's a table saw. 
It's a table saw that's tough enough to cut through stone. So I'm pretty sure it's tough enough to, uh, to cut through other stuff, to cut through a little bit of spruce too. Um, light. I need a light. I need my head, but it's not attached. All right. So I'm going to drop that there and that there. And that's going in there. And... I need a little bit more. I need... <laughs> I need something to stand on. Uh, let me go grab... Let me go grab a couple of... A couple of these guys, just so I can make some slabs. And might decorate around the outside a little bit. I forgot to grab the uh I forgot to grab the hoe too. And dirt. Oh <laughs> uh, I'd sing if I only had a brain, but I can't remember the words. I need a dirt. And the hoe. Better be careful. Facebook in its quest to ban naughty words uh, <laughs> took a gardening group offline because they kept using the word hoe. Oh, I need two dirt. Not one. Crikey. At least it's a short trip down. No, not two dirt. Three dirt, because I was doing this on two sides. Oh, uh, I, I could have used the podzel. I could have used the podzel. That would have worked too. Because pumpkins and melons will only grow over to certain blocks. Uh, dirt, coarse dirt, podzel, sand, and, and grass. So uh, it, it is a decent way to control where stuff is growing. Get that there. We'll get the oh uh, no, not until we get the waterlog stair. Gonna need that there. I need that there. Oh, I need uh, I need redstone torches. All right, let's get that guy there. Water log you, right? Yep, so far so good. And let's get our light source in here so nothing unfortunate happens when I inevitably forget something, leave and come back. Alright, so that's gonna go there, into that guy, into there, on a delay. I kind of wish there was a way to turn corners a little tighter than this, too. There's going to be a... Piston there. Redstone, redstone, redstone. gonna go there that's gonna go there and then we got the 
this guy is going to turn around that way. Did I do it like that on the other side? I did do it like that on the other side. And the piston's gonna go there. And we got redstone, redstone, redstone. This is technically all I needed over there. I'm gonna conserve blocks. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother making it pretty. It's not permanent enough to make pretty. Get that going there. We'll get that going there. Because I need two more torches. And a whole bunch of slabs. Yeah, because I'll just put a slab roof over the top of this. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I got nine redstone dust left. I should have everything I need down here without having to make a full round trip up and down again. Two torches. And I need a bunch of slabs. Oh, I should, before I get too far, I should probably also grab the bone meal so I can hurry up and get a stem going faster. I'm going to be able to get with, uh, with just 16 bone meal left, but we'll see. It could happen. Oh, okay. That's right, that's right. It's not a percentage chance with those guys. Oh, my memory, such as it is. thought about a micro crop farm too but I can't really do any of the ones that I'd like to do until until I get um, observers because I need observers to make a clock that's fast enough to move the way I need it to and that'll happen once I get the mob farm together all right so I guess we'll wait and see if this was a good idea that will uh, that'll just have to wait. We'll we'll come back in here and check at some later juncture. Uh, oh, yeah. it would probably help if I actually added the torches like I was supposed to. There we go. Now it's ready to go. All right. So I guess we'll see how that goes. While I've been here building this thing, I... <laughs> Th this... This is amazing. This, th this is so stupidly simple. And amazeballs. <laughs> Oh, my. Do I want to keep turning that in? I mean, the emeralds would be nice. Eventually, I'll have to get a platform together that the uh, wandering idiot can spawn on. Because, <laughs> I mean, do I have enough? No, I don't have enough blocks yet. Nah, uh, I'll, I'll, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll go build a bouncy castle out of slime blocks. I'll leave this here. I'll leave this down here. 
I'll take the rest back up to the top with me for now. I wonder if I should get rid of these guys. Now, let's wait and see what the yield is like. Um, cause I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need a lot more iron before I make the next module. Although I got that hopper that I kept in reserve for the chicken stuff. Cause I forgot to put the hopper that I'm gonna need in the in the farm over there. You know what? Let me reserve that for the sugarcane farm for now. I uh might have a few stacks of slime. At some point I may turn it in just to keep the inventory clear. That's three stacks of slime blocks. Alright. Starting to get a little bit closer on the pumpkins too. Uh, those are melons. Now, here's the part that I, I'm not entirely sure about. Technically... I think I'm far enough away that there shouldn't be any plant growth. I forget how far away it is that plants grow, but I think I think part of it is because Skyblock is keeping stuff active to maintain a count on where each uh, where each area is. That it's not uh, that that is keeping that is keeping the plant growth happening. Like I bet if we were to go over to Medic's farm, you'd see stuff has grown while I was here. Even though even though technically I'm too far away from where his stuff is. Although since I don't know where that was when I started the stream, I don't I don't know that we'd be able to accurately accurately say. Yeah. I've got to get an iron farm going. Um, that gets me enough gold to get a golden apple. A golden apple for a villager. Uh, so I need more gold to get a golden apple. I have to get to the nether. Because I need another wart to make the potion of weakness. No. No, you don't. Do you? Where's my, uh, where's my potion brewing guide? Awkward potion. Where's the weakness potion? That's right. You, you just need, uh, spider eyes to make a weakness potion. So I don't need the nether wart. I just need... Oh, I need the mob farm for the spider, but I also need the burning stand. To get the burning stand, I need a blaze rod. And blaze rod is the reward for... the n one of the nether... nether challenges. Uh, but I can't do that until I get homeowner, and I can't do homeowner until until I get a red bed. And I can't do that until I can get enough uh, string for wool. And uh, my little foray into an accidental mob farm only got me three string. But I got some spider eyes, so I got that squared away. Yeah, that, that's probably going to be Tuesday's big project, is figuring out the mob farm. Uh, I got two ideas that I haven't settled on. One is big, and it's probably going to take up a big chunk of that area over by, over by medics, where medics is. Because um, I don't think... I got a big enough space in that corner there. I've got to get the measurements down for what I've got in mind. And then see if I've got a spot with no 
slime chunk in it that's big enough. I, mean, I guess I might be able to fit it in that back corner there. Because, uh, yeah, without triggering phantoms, please. Uh, I got that one chunk there that's really messing things up. Otherwise, I got a pretty big field that I can work with over there. So I'm okay. So I might be able to get it there, but if it's there, it might be too close to the slime farm. The other thought again is to go back and do the all-in-one and get a mob farm high enough over the slime farm that I can drop mobs in there, and I just need enough iron to make that a true three by three grid. Uh, so there's no spots for the critters to to get out. Um, unfortunately, though, with the walls being the way they are, spiders would be able to climb back out. So that that's not going to work. That's not going to work until... Uh, yeah, no, that's not going to work. Even if I wanted it to. Okay, so combo farms out. Decisions made. I just need to see which design I'm going to build. And that depends on uh, on space. Because what I want to do is I want, I'm, I'm going to need... I only got 42 blocks of redstone. That's not enough. Maybe. I'm going to need to make a clock, not a hopper clock, because I can't afford to waste two hoppers for a hopper clock. Uh, dispensers would be great, but I can't get that until I get the mob farm. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably set up part of it. Yeah. And then run the top floor. Cause what, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, if... Go, go back to uh, Season 1 on the live stream where I built the second generation creeper farm. And it's going to be pretty much that, except no glass pillars, because I do want spiders to spawn in this. And no trap doors, because I want more than creepers and spiders. Um, and, and that's pretty much the idea. It's just going to be eight spawning platforms going down into a catcher. That's going to use water streams to push them into a hole. Uh, technically, I can probably get away with it being two by two. Probably. Uh, and then the question is, am I going to make it tall enough that it kills them automatically? Or no, because I'm, I'm going to be able to want to switch between manual and automatic. So I'll probably... Uh, I'll put four campfires over the four hoppers, but I'm going to need the iron for the hoppers. Yeah. I'll, I'll put four, four hoppers and four campfires, and that way I can light the fires or uh, put them out, depending on if I want an automatic or manual. And I'll leave them unlit until I can get to the nether. Uh, once I get into the nether, I get enough gravel that I don't have to worry about my one lone flint and steel, because I'm probably not going to switch it on and off all that often. Uh, and I'll make sure that the clock has a lever on top that will let me turn the mob farm itself on and off, so that way uh, I can leave it off until I'm running it. Um, so I need to find a good AFK spot for that guy. I need to find where I'm going to put the mob farm, I guess. Yeah, I got that big spot right there. But I'm not sure that I want to do that only because I, I think I think I want to put a storage room around that central drop shaft. Don't know how many... How many boxes do I want down there? I'm going to need a lot. I'm going to want a lot. How about that? Uh, 
I'll bring those down with me. Just to kind of... I don't know, suss out a couple things. Also, I'm going to get a little impatient and check. And see if this guy's actually produced anything. Uh-oh. Um, power is flickering, so this... <laughs> Doesn't look like the internet connection is coming back. So, uh, you looking at the recording later will will see that I had to stop because of a power outage. Uh, blah blah blah. Usual outro. Blah blah blah. Have fun, and I'll see you next.